Me and Ross are at the National Farm Machinery Show and we randomly spotted a wild Ron. So we was gonna try and sneak up on Ron, but it didn't end up working. Uh, he's seen us. So we're gonna go over here to the Versatile booth now and see Mike, Farmhand Mike. And uh, apparently he's giving out 100 free hats a day, so that might work out pretty cool. We're gonna go over and see him though. So we're over here in the, the, the Versatile booth and we're on their tractor. And these cabs are actually pretty roomy. Talking to the camera. He's over here thinking I was talking to myself. So we're over here in the 360 yield. Is that right? 360 yield. 360 yield, yeah. And I guess they have row sensing for a haggy. Then these are your for your nitrogen. Yeah. That's what a lot of people use these for. They drop nitrogen in between the corn row. But yeah, we normally do it with our, well, we put 32 on when we do ours. These yeah, are, we put thir that's what this is for. This is for fertilizer. Yeah. But uh, we put we put nitrogen on early, and whereas this, you can take it in late and drop it back. Yeah, but I never knew they had uh, row sends for sprayers. So this is our new planter attachment called 360 Wave. We're working on two things. We're helping to close this V-trench after we firm the seed in. The loose material that's left here behind has come from this right side wall that's moist soil we've cut over the top of the seed, giving the closing system some loose material to work with to avoid air pockets and avoid slotting. At the same time, we're applying starter, like your 1034-0 pop-up yeah. type materials, off to the side, not on the seed, so it's safe, but we can run, run higher salt, more gallons, but it's still gonna get both our seedling roots and our crown roots by being as close as we are. So is that also a seed firmer down there? Is that, that what is. that white yep. thing is? That's yep. a seed so firmer? we seed firm uh, first, then use the blade to partly close the trench as a pre-closing, then your regular closing system will follow behind. Okay, so then also, this is just a normal trench, but this is what's different, right? That's right, yep. So standard B trench, the blade then is what's new as well as the firmer. Okay, well thank you. Thanks guys, appreciate it. This here is showing how the row sense works. See this wheel here that spins, hits that, telling it to turn a certain way, or same thing over here. Kind of a neat little system that they got set up here. Every time I come to this show, it just never ceases to amaze me how big it is. This building's huge. I mean, there's all kinds of companies here from end to end. I think I heard earlier, earlier it was like 1.2 or 1.3 million square feet. That's a huge building. Wouldn't that be awesome to have that as like a shop or a farm or something? Well, how tall are you? I'm 5'8". Well, probably like maybe 5'9". 5'10 with these boots. I'm 6'3". <laughs> and I feel good. I saw that being short, I can, well, I can actually work underneath here, no problem. Yeah, I can reach up higher though than you. Yeah. Vector 400, it's a fertilized better of booms. You gotta wear the pioneer hat to the eyes open. Oh. Nice little fertilizer spreader. What's your control? What's your controls? So. Oh, and you got your drive, neutral, reverse. Oh, it has it even has an Allison in it. You got your other stuff here. 
because normally when I spread, I got a pull behind spreader, so really never seen one of these before. And how it really is. It's a and cab's roomy, cab pretty big, and how everything is. Got your screen. Oh, right now we're gonna have three cameras. Why don't you go ahead and yeah. get yours I out too? While, out. Yeah. while we're at it, we'll just have four cameras filming each other. Stare into my eyes. <laughs> Even, what is this? This is probably the first video it's ever taken yet. Point towards that Haggy. <laughs> Everything yeah. point towards the Haggy. Okay, everybody. Guys, it's a video of a video of a video of a video. <laughs> Everybody's got to go check out like all of our channels and tell us if they all look the same. Let's go now. Hello, Ralph Farms, car here. Warner Farms, car here. Check him out here. We're together. What? <laughs> what? Just, check, wait, wait. check him yeah, out. No, yeah. Don't check him out. Yeah. Check him out. Check Ross out. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's the same. Ross we're on the same channel, but yeah. Hello, Ross. Ross is better don't than worry about Alice, this guy. You know? Yeah. This is. Yeah. Don't worry about him. There'll be a link up here. It'll probably say. Uh, They'll probably say, uh, don't worry about this guy. You know, this is War Keith Warner. He's yeah. a little bit north of me. We've yeah. talked about meeting up a couple times. You know, anything. We're at it. We'll just have four cameras. Because I haven't even filmed anything yet. Since Stare into my eyes. <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> Smile, boys. Alex. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Mom, he took my blue. I started that one. Go ahead, boys. He took my red. I wanted that one. I want this one. Don't fight. So I want that one. Aww. I want that. Boy. Come on, I'll take this one. I want that one too. Fine, I'll call this one. I'm still amazed that I fit in here. Keep in mind, I'm six foot five, he's six foot three. And we're, this is a picnic table that's for like two by four by two. I won't say though, these would be. You know, I have no problem fitting in there because I'm only 5'8. Oh, awesome. That's true, you are tiny. There is not on this color though, is there? Oh, okay. So getting in is the easy part. Just <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not enough surface to sit on. <laughs> you want to upgrade, but then Ross. What kind of issues does that guy have? It's kind of scary. Did it do anything? They're gonna break it. It's like a very wide yeah, chair. That's what I want to get. Twenty intern. You gotta show the shirt. If you're gonna, if you're gonna spend money, the intern. Spend for a two thousand and ten thousand dollars. Best. Ryan Custer, how farm works. What the farm girl? Intern's mom. <laughs> the intern's trying to figure smile, out what I look like. Smile, smile nicely, nicely, no, no, like nicely, yeah. like taking a picture with you for your mom. <laughs> just look like it. <laughs> yeah, it does. It kind of does. Do I need to pose again? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, gotta get the CD handle yet. No. Now you look here to my right, you got the best combine ever made. A gleaner. I can't tell if it's a shed or a grain bin. <laughs> I come I combine stuff into my mouth. <laughs> Enough for him to work. If you look up in there, there's a lot of room between the motor and the rotor here. It's a gleaner combine, as some people call it, a shed. Now that combine is one I've been waiting to see here for a while. It's an ideal it's a Fendit Ideal 9T, which is a class 9 combine. Uh, apparently they have really good threshing and really good everything. Apparently they're, they got a dual rotor design on them, I think. So I'm going to take a look at it. This is the Fendit Ideal. Just Fendit, right? So this is a class 9 combine, right, Ron? Yeah. yeah, that's what I thought. Just gotta fend it. Fend it. Fend it. Fend it. It's a really pretty combine. It's got a really big grain tank on it too, doesn't it? 485. 485. Yeah. Snazzy. Fancy. Oh, ho, ho. These seats are not too comfortable. Well, that's nifty. That's with a foot pedal. 
Kind of moves everything with. No, no, that's still the steering wheel. So the ha handle designs is kind of like the John Deere's. These are a bit different than the John Deere's, but you gotta lift up and stuff. And you got your throttle, everything else. You can definitely tell they've been using this one for something. There's some residue down in the rotor and everything. Really nice combine though. It really is. I'm sure you'll get a in-person first person view of Ross up there. You guys notice this under first grain cart here this is what like welkers had like what nick welker had really neat grain cart it's huge though nothing like what we would ever run back home back home about all that we see is about the biggest one is probably 1600 bushel this is a 2000 bushel that's a lot of grain to be stacking in a grain cart especially for corn and not having steerable axles would be a killer for us so me and Ross just got to the room where we're being put up for the night. Um, we're going to hang out in here for a little bit before we go down to the, back down to the show. But yeah, anyways, Airgold's the reason that we're getting to go to the tractor pull tonight, the reason we got a hotel room. So thank you to Agrigold. Uh I'm going to go ahead and edit videos for a little bit before we go back down to the show. Ross is going to look pretty and do what he always does. Like I always do. Stand here and look pretty. So that last booth that we was at just there, um, that is Hurricane Ditcher. That is one of our uh, neighbors. He's got his own business. He sells them ditchers. Uh, he travels around, goes to all these shows, and goes a little bit everywhere. We actually do have one of his ditchers. Uh, we haven't been able to really get it on video yet because we haven't been able to use it. We've been busy doing other things. But yeah, it's in our area. He's right down the road from us, literally a hop, skip, and a jump and away from the farm there. Um, I'm gonna go do a tour of his facility sometime, hopefully here soon. It'll be interesting to do, that's for sure. Precision planting. I didn't think Ross knows what he's doing. I don't, I don't even know what this is. I got a guy here from Precision Planning. He's seen me over here filming and he's going to explain what that is if he knows. Yep, so this is a smart farmer. Smart farmer? Yep. So what this does is with these three, three lights in this sensor, um, it tells us soil moisture, uh, organic matter, whether we have a clean furrow and soil temperature. So you can do this all from the cab? Yes. From the cab of your, yep. so basically like this screen here so is showing you, that. If you watch, uh, here we go, soil temperature right there. Yep. Organic matter, clean furrow. Watch that as I run it through the. It's neat. That's really neat. You can watch them all go down. Yep. Huh. So, so then are you running that through different types of dirt there too? Yep. So what what we can actually do is we can we can put one of these on a planter or one on every row and then you can you can use it to get your data there and then make adjustments on the planter yourself. Yeah. Or we can actually add things to this and um actually control things with this like we can control the depth of the planter control population on the monitor or on the seed meters through the data that we collect from this interesting well i appreciate it yes sir 
You're on camera, smile. What's that? You're on camera, smile. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, change up. Yeah, look at that. You so can... when did you start doing this? Have you always done this? Is that what, hat giveaway? That's new for this year. No, meet Farmhand Mike. That's new this year. Really? This is the first time we've ever done such a thing at a farm show. Yep. Well, congratulations. All right, thanks. We're in here at the class booth. Kenzie's right there. Pretty neat little stuff. So, Ron, correct me if I'm wrong, but is this the, basically the same design as like what John Deere has? And everyone else. It comes from the same manufacturer, right? No. Just paint a different color? Nope. That's right. It's That's all, incorrect. All built by a whole bunch of different people. So it's all built by a whole bunch of different people. I believe D Norwood Sales builds the John Deere ones. Kinsey builds these, which is a Dagelman design. Dagelman builds theirs. Horse Joker has 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 their Joker. Case has their new one. Land um, Landall has their new one. I mean, <laughs> everyone and their brother has a high speed disc nowadays because everyone's jumping on the bandwagon because everyone wants one. Ross, don't do it. Don't do it. Ross. God, he broke. The, no, he broke this thing. Ross, come on. Yeah, there's your title for the video. <laughs> Ross broke it already. <laughs> but no, it's just interesting to see how close all these are to each other as far as like uh, tools like that. Combines and tractors and stuff, they're harder to copy. Ron is a fan of this. I am not. Hey, Ron. What's up? I guarantee you, if you rode on that thing, you would hate it afterwards. I'd plow with that. Pun intended. So this is the 8370R, or 370RX, ARX 370, I forget how you're supposed to say it. Very clean, slick looking tractor. Funny thing about this tractor is, hopefully, crossing my fingers, I can get a demo on one this spring. My name is on the list for one, but it just depends on whether or not we get it or whether or not the uh, dealer gets it. If they do, then we will have a demo on it. Now, you can't tell me that that would not be cool. There's also another tractor over here that's pretty cool. What are you doing? <laughs> Stand up. 4430 John Deere. It's really, really clean. It almost looks like it's never even been in the field. It's so clean. And then they also have their new planner back here. This was just released here recently. If I'm, I don't know, I may be wrong, but this is like a high speed planner, but for smaller farmers with older, track, older tractors and stuff. I'm sure the planner is still really expensive, but it might be just what some people need for their operation to continue growing. Here's also a Heggy. Not sure on the size of it, STS-12. Uh, the 12, the 14, the 10, and stuff like that basically means tank size. So ours is an STS-14. That means it has a 1,400 gallon tank on it. Uh, 10 has a 10, has a 1,000 gallon tank on it. Just small stuff like that. Ooh, they put a new walkway on here. So you can now actually walk all the way around the cab, or all the way around the, that's neat, really neat. So here's a look inside the 8RX cabin. This is a refrigerator. No, it isn't. That's some kind of a storage compartment, which you can never have too much storage in one of these things whenever you're sitting in here all day. See how comfy the seat is. That's very comfy. Um, different style radio. I kind of knew this from the beginning that it was going to have a different style radio in it. Kind of neat. Uh, different corner post cup holders all kinds of different stuff in here seat moves around a lot more they must have went to like a hydrostat kind of thing I'm guessing hmm, that's interesting still got the steering wheel and everything pretty neat little tractor it's got uh 
all your SUVs. Huh. Pretty nice. They finally put foot pegs in them. Yeah! No, another thing about this tractor is, Ron was just saying it made me think of it. They have two different transmission options for this tractor. Uh, you can go all the way up to, I believe, 400 horsepower with these tractors. Pretty neat. Um, def, obviously, fuel. Spacious cab, air ride cab. Really nice tracks, industry first. Big, heavy built axles on the back. The one thing that I wish that they would have done was put four wheel steer on the axles. Thought that would have been kind of cool. Shocked myself there. A little bit shocky. Even got a ladder over here. Pretty neat tractor. All the way up to 410 horsepower. Hi, hello, Farms Nation. Hello, Ralph's Farms Nation. I'm down here at the pit. See if I can get you guys some good video. Let's see if I can do it. Circus. Look at all these deer tractors just running around. There's four or five of them just prepping the next run to run, keeping it going, going quick. We came to the Hyatt Regency on the other side of town. He's eating away on his fries. But we wanted to uh, meet Mike Mitchell. And this hotel is insane. What I think is missing is that automatic playing piano. You know, like the pianos that play itself. Yeah. That's the only thing this place is missing. <laughs> then I stop now. This I is. Hear, I hear piano music, so that thing might be here. We need to find it. It might be. It might be. It might be over there somewhere. We're gonna go look. Yeah. So, anyways, um, hey, we're gonna close wait, this video out for the day. <laughs> Ross, come on! They're gonna kick us out of here. But, anyways, we're going to uh, head back to the tractor pool. I think for a little bit, and that's gonna be all for day one of the farm show. Um, I guess we'll see you guys tomorrow in day two remember to like and subscribe leave a comment down below yeah see you in the next video